Okay, a stretch wire of length 1 meter is fixed at both ends. The speed of the transverse wave in the wire is 10 meter per second. If the mode of the vibration is third overtone, uh, calculate the wavelength frequency of third overtone and lowest resonant frequency of the wire. Okay, good. So here we have um, the length. Uh, this is about a wire. Okay, speed of the wave, yeah, the speed, uh, this is the V, yeah, V, speed of the wave. Mode of vibration is third overtone. Okay, this is important. Third overtone. Okay, calculate the wavelength. So, first question asks about the wavelength. Eh, sorry, uh, wavelength. Okay, so let's do the first question. Huh? Let's do the first question. Um, okay, so we have the length and the speed and the third overtone. Okay, good. So, first of all, we need to know about this third overtone. Uh, what is the harmonic of this third overtone? Okay, and this is about a wire. Okay, so let's write down. This is a wire. Wire. So, okay, let's write the mode here. Mode. Mode is means the fundamental mode, the overtones. And then here we have the harmonics. Let's, let's try the method that we no need to draw. Eh? No need to draw a diagram. We just use the formula. Okay. Uh, just use the formula. Okay. First of all, uh, we know about this wire. This wire is about uh, all harmonic. And this is important. Yeah. We must know uh, this wire is about all harmonic. That means the value of N. Uh, wait. Uh, the value of N here. Uh, the harmonic harmonic is means the value of n eh? so all harmonic means it has all number uh, it has all number yeah uh, because we know uh, for uh, for string and the open pipe they have all harmonic only the closed pipe odd harmonic yeah uh, and then uh, we also know about the formula formula for string and the open pipe they have the same formula uh, nv over 2l nv over 2l only the closed pipe is NV over 4L, uh, which is the odd harmonic. So, uh, uh, so this is the difference. Lah. We must know. Yeah? So, we use this formula. No, let's say we no need, don't want to draw all the diagram. We also can use the formula directly. Okay, let's try. So, the string formula, which is the wire. Okay, so let's write down the formula here. This one, FN NV over 2L. Okay, because it's all harmonic. Uh, all harmonic, so the formula... Uh, of frequency is nv over 2l okay and the value of n is uh, all all numbers yeah all numbers uh, 1 2 3 4 5 okay the value of this is 2 uh, okay so okay first of all we need to know what is this third overtone third overtone is about the mode huh? this is about the mode it's not the harmonic this the mode it's not the harmonic yet we need to find the harmonic so okay, write down. So if start with fundamental mode, and then uh, fun, you know fundamental mode, uh, and then we have the uh, start with the fundamental mode, and uh, then we have the first overtone, and uh, then we have the uh, second overtone, and then we have the third overtone. Ah, okay. So now we translate to harmonic. Fundamental mode is first harmonic. Uh, first harmonic. Uh, uh, first overtone is second harmonic because, because it has all harmonic. You see, all harmonic. So it go to second harmonic. It doesn't jump to third harmonic. You understand? Uh, it, go, it go one by one. It doesn't have zero harmonic. Huh? It must start with first harmonic. First harmonic, second harmonic. Uh, and then we have third harmonic. So the third overtone should be fourth harmonic. Ah, should be fourth harmonic. So this is um, this third overtone is actually fourth harmonic. Ah, fourth harmonic. Yeah. Okay, good. So now uh, I think we can find the wavelength. Yeah, and we can find the. But first of all, uh, let's find out um, uh, 
Okay, I think we can, for this question, I think we can find the question 2 first. Eh? Frequency of the third overtone. So, I think this question can find the frequency of third overtone. Third frequency of third overtone is actually uh, fourth harmonic. So, this is actually F4. Uh, yeah, third overtone is fourth harmonic. Uh, F4 harmonic that means N equal to 4. Lah. So, I think we can find the frequency first before we can find wavelength. Or you want to find wavelength first also can, but you need to draw the diagram. Okay, you need to draw the diagram of the uh, fourth harmonic. Uh, but uh, if we use a formula, we use a formula of frequency, we will definitely got the, you know, we will definitely got the frequency first. Okay, so let's do it. Yeah, so uh, use the formula for this formula for wire. This is the formula for wire. Uh, fourth is fourth harmonic. So we put F4, F4, and then this one is a uh, 4V. Okay, we have the speed of uh, wave uh, 10, and then 2L. L is a uh, one meter. Uh, so okay, so uh, cut. So what do we have? Uh, so our frequency is 20 hertz. Uh, is that correct? Yes. 20 hertz yeah that's correct actually this one should be uh this one should be 4 uh, instead of f3 should be f4 yeah uh, because um this n value is actually the harmonic value it's not the overtone value okay this n value is the harmonic value so this one should be f4 actually but never mind it's not so important about this subscript not so important Okay, so let's look at uh, this. Then we can do the qu first question. Okay, this is the you can say this is the first. Uh, this is this is the second question. Okay, now let's do the first. Oops, oh, sorry. Let's do the first. So first, we just use f equal v equal to f lambda the formula because we already have the speed of wave. We already have this v, and uh, so we just put in the frequency. Put in a V, we can find our lambda. Okay, so this is 10. Uh, frequency is uh, 20. So lambda. So, okay. So, so what do we get for this? Ah, we got it. 0 0.5 uh, meter. Uh, you got 0 0.5 meter. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct. Okay. Um, Actually, there is another way to uh, no need to use a formula. We can uh, draw the diagram. Okay, we can draw from this one. You see the fundamental mode. Let's draw the fundamental mode. Okay, let's draw. Uh, let's say we start from the fundamental mode. It is uh, this is a wire, isn't it? It's a wire. So so it's a string. So fundamental mode is start from this one. Uh, and then first overtone. Uh, okay, actually. Put it like this, okay. This is fundamental mode, and then we have the uh, first overtone, then we have the second overtone, you know, and then we have the third overtone. Oops, sorry. Ah, okay. So, um, uh, so it is this one lah. So it is this one, yeah. This, this, uh, this is the answer. Okay, the third overtone, yeah. Third overtone, which is the fourth harmonic. Ah, uh, so uh, how to find the wavelength? Uh, so uh, we don't use a formula. We draw the diagram. We can directly find the wavelength. So this is one meter, isn't it? Ah, uh, you see. Uh, this is the length. Yeah, the whole wire is the L. L is equal to 1 meter. Okay, so we can see from there how many wavelength. How many wavelength? Uh, so we can uh, say that this is uh, okay. This one is uh, okay. Uh, so this is the you know uh, one wavelength uh, and then two wavelength. Uh, can you see that? Uh, this is actually two wavelength, or we can say this is a uh, Half lambda, half lambda, half lambda, half lambda. Uh, so we can say this L is actually 
uh, four times four times the half lambda ah okay uh, this is four times the half lambda half 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 lambda half lambda half lambda half lambda so four times half lambda so this is actually this l is actually uh, two lambda you know so two lambda equal to one meter so we got the lambda in um, divided by two it is 0 0.5 meter ah you get the same answer you see 0 0.5 meter and then we find frequency let's say we do we want to find the frequency um okay v is actually you know v is what v is 10 right v is 10 okay v is 10 so frequency uh, we want to find the frequency so lambda is 0 0.5 uh, so what is the frequency then let's find out the frequency uh, 10 divided by 0.5 so 20 uh, see you also get the same answer uh, so we have two methods here so the first uh, uh, just now the first method uh, this the first method here this is a graphical method uh, this is a graphical method yeah uh, uh the second method here the second method here this is the you can say this is the formula method uh, okay you want to use the formula sorry you want to use a formula method you want to use a graphical method uh, you still get back the same answer because this one actually this formula uh back is actually refer back to the that the graphic refer back to the diagram uh, so it's the same thing yeah it's the same thing uh, this one this general formula we get actually all we get from the graphic uh, okay uh, just remember that if close pipe is not 2l is 4l uh, if close pipe uh, it is 4l okay good so we let we shall continue now we want to find the lowest uh, resonant frequency so what does it mean by this re lowest resonant frequency very simple this is actually uh, lowest lowest resonant uh, resonant you know resonant um uh just ignore about the the resonant is uh can say it's standing wave yeah we can say it's standing wave or same frequency uh you know uh where it resonant frequency is the biggest amplitude you know it happens um just ignore the word resonant yeah or we can say it's just a standing wave um so lowest uh, the important thing is the lowest here lowest here lowest here means the fundamental mode ah this is actually essentially means the lowest the lowest frequency the lowest frequency is the fundamental frequency the fundamental frequency fundamental frequency or the first harmonic ah uh, the first harmonic so it actually refers to to this one okay uh, so we want to find the lowest frequency so the graphic is this one uh, it's actually the l is only half lambda so how to find this uh, so so uh, we know that okay very easy um, question three yeah let's look at question three uh, we already got the we already got this just now the odd harmonic frequency isn't it what does it mean by the N4? N4 means this 20 hertz is four times the frequency of fundamental frequency. Ah, understand? And that's N is N equal to four means it is four times. Yeah, uh, this N equal to four means this uh, F4 is four times the F0, the four times the F uh, fundamental. Uh, or we can actually is uh, f1 <laughs> instead of f uh, f uh, yeah f yeah so this is a uh, four times the f1 you understand uh, this one should put f1 uh, not f f not uh, okay some books you put f not some books you put f1 uh, we don't confuse ourselves uh, this this n value uh, we reserve this subscript n as the multiples of harmonic uh, so we don't confuse ourselves okay uh, so this is the n value n value n harmonic value 
harmonic value is the multiples of multiples uh, the multiples of fundamental frequency so if you have fourth harmonic or n equal to four means the frequency at this n equal to four is four times the fundamental frequency okay uh, so so we got uh, we can put f4 is equal to four times the fundamental frequency uh, so it is four times uh, so for f1 so f4 just now is 20 hertz so we can get our fundamental frequency which is uh, 5 hertz uh, divided by 4 so this is our fundamental frequency 5 hertz is that correct that's correct 5 hertz okay so that just that simple okay for these questions right see you